So for this video, we're going to focus on determining if each function is even, odd, or neither. So what this means, there's actually a test to do this, okay? So the test to figure out if it's an even function says, is f of negative x the same thing as f of x? So this is f of x right here. If I plug in negative x for x and I get the same exact thing back at me, that means that this is an even function. It's an odd function is if I plug in negative x and it's the same thing as the opposite of the function. So let's actually go through and see what this is going to look like. So for example A, let's test to see if it's even first. So it's even if I can plug in a negative x and I get f of x, right? So if I plug in negative x, let's see what I get. f of x is equal to negative. Instead of x, we're doing negative x to the fifth plus x, but we're plugging in negative to the third, okay? So when I simplify this, if this is the same thing as this, then it's an even function. So if we simplify this, negative x to the fifth, so that's x, negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x times negative x, that's five times you're multiplying it, so it's still going to pop back at you negative when you do that, but then times this negative out here is going to turn that positive. So that's going to be an x to the fifth. Plus, negative x cubed. So that's negative x times negative x times negative x. Three times, so that is going to be a negative x when we multiply it. Are these the same thing, yes or no? Now, this is a negative x to the fifth. This is a positive x to the fifth. That throws it off right there. That means it's definitely not an even function. Let's test to see if it's an odd function. It's an odd function if we plug in negative for the x, so that's going to look like the same thing we just had here. Okay. And does this equal negative f of x? So if I take f of x, which is negative x to the fifth plus x cubed, and if I take the opposite of it, so change the sign of everything, will I get the same thing? So we already saw when we simplified this that we get x to the fifth, plus negative x cubed. Now if I change the sign on everything over here, this negative cancels with that negative, making it x to the fifth, and this negative goes to this one, so that's a minus x cubed. x to the fifth plus negative x cubed. Same exact thing. So this is an odd function because f of negative x is the same thing as negative f of x. Let's move on to the next one and run through the test with that. So for our next example, we have g of x is equal to x squared minus the absolute value of x plus 1. So let's first test to see if it's an even function. For that, we need to plug in negative x and see if we get f of x. So that means I'm going to plug in a negative for every x that we have here, right, just like that. And we want to see, does it equal the same function? Is it going to spit back out the same function to me? So let's test. Negative x squared. Remember, negative x times negative x is a positive x. So that does change to positive x squared. Minus, now when we take the absolute value of negative x, that becomes a positive x, and then plus 1. If we look here, x squared minus the absolute value of x plus 1, those are the exact same thing. So this is definitely an even function. We still need to check to see if it's an odd function and see what we get there. So the odd test, so f of negative x, which we just got, is the exact same thing. I, is this the same thing as the opposite of the whole function? So let's see. If we take the opposite of the function, that means this is going to be negative x squared plus the absolute value of x minus 1. I can already tell right here these definitely are not the same thing, so this is not odd. It's also not going to be a neither, so it's definitely even. Let's move on to our next example. For our last example, we have h of x is equal to 5x squared plus 3x. So let's first test to see if it's even. Let's plug in a negative x for every x that we have, and is this going to give us our same function back at us? So let's see, negative x squared, that's negative x times negative x, which makes it positive x. 
Over here, we have 3 times negative x now, so that's going to make that a minus 3x. So here it was almost the same thing. We got 5x squared, 5x squared, but here we have a minus 3x. Here we have a positive 3x. That means it is not an even function. Let's test to see if it is an odd function. So if it's an odd function, that means we can plug in negative x uh, for x, which we got 5x squared minus 3x when we do, did that. Is it the same thing as the opposite of the whole function? All right. So let's see. If we distribute that negative, that means we're going to have a negative 5x squared minus 3x. These are not the same thing because here we have a positive 5x squared. Here we have a negative 5x squared. So it's not even. It's not odd. This is what a neither case would look like. Otherwise, that's it for this video.